everyone, in today's video, we're gonna talk about junk. <laughs> Literally, we're gonna talk about junk stocks. Now, what are junk stocks, you may be asking, is they're typically stocks with beat down charts and high short interest, meaning a lot of people out there in the world, a lot of funds, a lot of smart money is betting on these stocks going lower. Therefore, they're highly shorted stocks. Now, here's a watch list and you can look today and just to get a visual and see, wow, look, there's so many stocks up 15, 20%. That's true. Now, if we really dig deep in these, a lot of them are junk. Uh, international gaming uh, tech, a gaming stock, Caesars, the casinos, um, JetBlue, the airliner that's got beat down, Crocs, a little retailer, Camping World, another retailer out there, Sig Jewelers that hasn't opened a store in, what, four weeks now, Carnival Cruise Lines, we all know that situation, they're junk stocks, meaning if we pull up some of their, their charts, you know, they, they went from 50 to 7, right? Camping World went from 16 to 3. Yeah, you know, they got beat down a lot. So they're starting to make, and a lot of these names are up 50 plus percent already off the lows. So they've had massive moves already. Now, if you want to find more junk stocks or you think, hey, they're going to continue to outperform the equity market, um, you can. What you can do is just go to either uh, shortsqueeze.com and just type in, hey, some stocks you're looking at. Uh, you could see the percentage short float there. So this is Camping World. We could type in like Sig Jewelers, 22%. It's short percent of float there. Or what you can do is go to a website like Finviz, F-I-N-V-I-Z.com. They do have a lot of uh, pop-ups, so be careful. And then what you can do is um, you can go, let's see, I don't like these pop-ups here. You can go to Optional Shortable. You can go to Shortable. Um, you can actually look at float short and we'll go high. We'll go do uh, over 20% and we can now look at percentage change, what stocks are up, or we could just separate by volume. That's a lot easier. There we go. And we can see, you know, Neo, the electric car maker, uh, Macy's, oof, Macy's. Oh, yeah, I used to like Macy's. Uh, Virgin Galantic, right? Letter X. Uh, Lumpkin Coffee. These are all highly shorted stocks. So you can actually just add these to your watch list if you want uh, or download them in an Excel sheet. Like Wayfair went from 25 to now 55. Huge move up nearly 30% today. Um, but this is a good gauge because what you're going to see if the stock market continues to rally, you're going to see these stocks, you know, these highly shorted stocks really make a move to the upside. I mean, again, Royal Caribbean went from 135 to 19. Now it's at 40. It already doubled off the lows. That's where you're going to see uh, capital flow into. Obviously, there's a lot, a lot of risk because you know these names are hoping on bailouts and, and such like that, some of them, and you're basically betting on a recovery to the economy uh, and a lot of these stocks. But if you if you think, hey, these stocks are are you know uh, Elf Beauty ELF uh, Eli Golf or Callaway Golf ticker symbol ELY? If you think, man, these stocks were just you know this stock was twenty two bucks the other day, now it's ten bucks, and you're looking for a recovery. Look at these highly shorted stocks uh, to really outperform. Uh, I personally, I love stocks that move. I feel like that's the best bang for your buck when you're trading from percentage uh, point of view. So you know, I, I love them. Uh, I love them. I have my watch list here. If anyone wants, um, you know, my watch list, I mean, I have, again, I don't know, maybe 200 names that I feel like um, that are movers, in my opinion. Uh, or you could go to that FinViz, download them there. Um, just shoot me an email, LanceTheFutureOfWealth.com. Have a fantastic trading day. Thanks, everyone.